I think in the past, there has been a decline in the knowledge of law uh, over the last hundred or years or so, but certainly going back in history to earlier periods, the 1600s or the 1700s, it is amazing what a great knowledge ordinary people in ordinary village streets had of the legal system. You'd stop them in the street and say, you know, what is a, a magistrate? What is a justice of the peace? What are his or her powers? You know, it would be his powers in those days. They would have given you quite a good answer. And they would have said, if you'd said, well, what is the, if this happens, what is the legal position? I think that many, many people would have given you quite a good answer. And that was partly because most people at that time were involved with the law. Most people sat on juries. Most people had legal documents in their houses. There was much higher involvement in the law 500 years ago or 300 years ago than there is now. Most of us don't have much contact with the law now. So there was a great deal of knowledge, generalized knowledge among the population. And they treated it in a very relaxed manner. It wasn't something to be frightened of. It was on your side. I mean, it was a it was a tool which, used with skill, could further you. You weren't frightened of it. In most societies, you're terrified of law. It's something which is inflicted on you by rich, powerful people to drag you off and do unpleasant things to you. In England, it was a tool available to everyone, and many, many people used it for all sorts of purposes. And there was generally a feeling that it wasn't against you, it wasn't on your side, but it was a, just like the public transport system. If you knew what you were doing, you could get there a bit quicker if you operated within it. 